Okay, so hi guys. Uh, this is my CR10 Mini that has been out of commission for a very long time. And I'm planning to do a complete overhaul of the printer. Okay, so as you can see, the power supply is mounted here on this side by these tiny plastic. So I just had an idea that I can actually relocate the power supply over here. Same as the ones in the Ender 3s. Okay, so in order to do that, I need to measure the mounting holes for this power supply. Make a jig out of that and put some holes over here in the 2040 aluminum. The first thing I need to do is to remove this and I'll get back to you as soon as I am done with the model. I'm going to open the Ender3.f3d file. Okay, so now that it's loaded, I need to have access behind these so I can unview the power supply and click here. Okay, for this to work, I need to make a jig. Okay, so I need to make a sketch right here. Here. And bring it up approximately here. Down. Okay, so next I will make the holes. Make sure I get the centered. Move to the next one. Good enough. Okay, so next I need to extrude this part for let's say about three millimeters and make this a new body. Okay, so for aesthetic purposes, I'll add some fillets so that you know that this is the top part. Add some three millimeter fillets. So yeah, perfect holes. Uh, once. We're done. Send this. Okay, 3D print this. This will only take you about 45 minutes of print time. Make this small. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so I can make the print time less by making this thinner. So, yeah, 23 minutes of print time. Okay, so I'll get back to you as soon as I am done with this. A few moments later. Okay, so after a quick CAD, I ended up with this jig. Okay, this is the jig mounted onto the 2040 aluminum by masking tapes. I think that will do for this job. Okay, so I'll get back to you as soon as I'm done drilling this two holes. And here is the final piece. Okay, so what I did was I pre-drilled these two holes using an M3 drill bit, then progressed with an M4. Then I kind of countersunk these two holes using an M6 or an M8 drill bit. I forgot what I used so that the screws can fit nicely inside the extrusions. There you go. You can actually relocate your power supply on the side for your CR10 or CR10 mini. Okay, so I just need to print the thing over here and make the connections. So yeah, there you go. Quick upgrade. If you like the content of this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Have a nice day. Bye.